Hello, everyone. Welcome back to IELTS Sharing Community, and our lesson today is all about IELTS listening skills. Okay, and before we get started, don't forget to like and share this video if you like it, and subscribe the channel for more lessons. Okay, we also have another channel which is focused on reading and listening skills. So don't forget to follow、uh, that channel, and then we're gonna update、uh, new lessons for you guys. Uh huh. And now let's get started. So in this series of videos, we're gonna guide you step by step、uh, how to do an IELTS listening test. Okay, and in this video, we're gonna、uh, try to finish、uh, IELTS listening test one. Okay, in Cambridge fourteen, book fourteen. So if you need this PDF、uh, to practice, so check it out. In the description box below this video, okay, and don't forget to、uh, visit our website for more information and some lessons. Okay, now let's get started. IELTS Cambridge Book Fourteen in IELTS Listening Test One, Section One. We're gonna、uh, finish this table. It's kind of filling. The table. Don't forget to read the instruction carefully. Okay. So in this one, we just、um, need one word or a number or, or and a number. Remember that we just one. If you、uh, write two words or two number, so it's not okay. Okay. Don't forget that. And the topic in this section. It's about cram report form. It's been like somebody gonna report a thief. So firstly, you need to underline the keyword. Okay. So let's have a look at this. So we have name here is like an example. The next one,、uh, nationality. Okay. So this is for nationality.、Uh, nationality, not nation. Okay, remember that. The next one, uh, well, let's have a look at this reason for visit. So here we have the number two question number two here to buy. Oh, okay, buy something. So do you know this one? Antique. Antique is something is quite old. Okay, old but value. Remember that maybe it's gonna、um, appear on the、uh, recording. Okay, so number three here,、uh, it talk about address. Address. They talk about address. So we have apartment、uh, number fifteen. So maybe the name or something. I don't know. Maybe the name of this apartment or kind of stuff. Okay. So the next one, details of theft. Okay, so the item stolen. So,、uh, a wallet containing approximately、uh, pow. So it's supposed to be、uh, the number here, maybe one thousand pow or fifty pow or whatever. But you need to define what kind of information we need to fill in this space. Okay, and、uh, number five. What the items stolen? Okay, maybe the、uh, passport. Maybe I don't know、uh, the key or something. I don't know. And number six, the date. The date of theft. Date. So we gonna have like、uh, day, and we have month, stuff like that. Okay, or just something like that. And the next one, possible time and place. Okay, so seven at about four p.m. Ah, it's like a, a space here. So sorry for that.、Uh, outside the stop here, maybe it's a location, right? Ah,、uh, maybe outside the coffee shop, outside the 
uh, I don't know, the university or whatever. It's 4 p.m. Some boys ask for the, ask for something. So the, we have the, so this is supposed to be a noun. Okay, not adjective or whatever. Uh, the next one, number nine, uh, is like this. Describing physical appearance about slim, uh, 12 years old, and uh, with hair. So it's supposed to be an adjective, okay? It's maybe brown, uh, blonde, um, or something. I don't know, but maybe we can guess. So in when we're listening, we just try to focus on blonde or something, okay? Um, we try to listen and focus on what we're going to fill in the space here. Okay, so because I will not um, open the, the recording because it's kind of... So that is copyright, so I'm going to show you the tips and tricks for you guys to um, do the question, okay? So the question number one is to talk about the name, okay? So... Uh, there's also a woman, they tried to report a theft and they, they told that they have a something, something stolen out of her bag yesterday, okay? And her name is Louise Taylor, okay? So you listen here. So nationality. So they're gonna, uh, the officer gonna ask about her nationality, but it's not gonna appear in the recording. They're gonna use another word. So we need to understand and focus on uh, the keyword. We need to find out. Okay, so actually here I have a tab street for this. So they, the officer are going to ask about resi resident in the UK. They not mention anything in anything about nationality or whatever. So you need to understand. Okay, resident is something like... Uh, um, a person who lives or has their home in a place. Okay, that's about resident. So, well, here, so we know they're going to read Canadian. Canadian. Okay, so it's kind of adjective. So we're going to fill out as a Canadian. Okay, for the first one. All right, so for the next one, the day of birth, they're going to mention 14 December. Uh, 1977 so her job her occupation interior designer so reason why to visit this area so for business okay and to buy something then this is a now so you need to listen okay and in this case he's gonna mention something relating to something old and valued okay here the tough street Tap street, you need to focus. And he's, they're gonna, uh, you visit this country, he ask the reason, the reason for visit, okay? Why you visit? So you're visiting, you're visit, just visiting this country, all right? Blah, 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 for summer on business. So you listen the key point, business in the recording. So here is a business. Oh, so you're gonna, know that okay the answer is coming so need to to focus okay uh designer okay you see her job okay you see and then and they come to buy all right so you see the buy here all right so the keyword gonna uh come follow it uh, the keyword is following okay and uh, old furniture you you need so you see antique. Antique is something old and value. In the recording, you see old furniture. So old and antique and furniture. So it's supposed to be furniture. Um, nature. Okay, you got what I mean? Okay, perfect. So the next one, the current address. Okay, so you just need to focus uh, when the officer asks her about her dress they're gonna not gonna ask you something relating to like her address like uh what is your address they're gonna ask uh, where you're staying 
So it means ask about her her address. Okay, she's gonna say something relating to park apartment. So we see here it's like the name of apartments. Okay, so it's supposed to be park. Okay. So the next one, number four, uh, items stolen. Okay, uh, a wallet containing approximately how much here? So be careful because this question is really cheeky. If you not really understand it, so then you are gonna make mistake. Okay, why are you gonna make mistake? I gonna show you. So they're gonna mention uh, three number. The first of all is train two thousand fifty pal. The second one is uh fifty pal, and up three hundred pal and. The last one, 50 pounds. So you need to listen carefully, you know, like contain. A wallet contain, you mean like see lots the amount of money that they are talking about, okay? So first of all, she mentioned like uh, there were there was quite a bit of cats there. Cats, okay? Uh, it's about... 250 okay so see 300 pounds is the amount of money that she withdrew yesterday okay and then she did some shopping about 50 pounds so like she took the cash out uh, 300 okay and she spent 50 pounds so then she has um, 250 pounds left so she lost this amount. Okay, so this is the answer. So how about the next one? She also lost her her phone, right? I don't know. Um, now I have a touch strip here, so be careful. Uh, she's gonna say like uh, she have left the well wallet. She left the wallet back in the apartment. Okay, but then realized my phone has gone. Ah, the phone is gone. Gone is means she lost it. So this is supposed to be phone. Okay. Uh, the day of theft. So you need to listen carefully. It's gonna be uh, they're gonna read like September the tenth. So you cannot read in like uh, ten September. So that's it. Okay. All right. Okay. So the next one. Uh, well, outside the number seven, weapon number seven here uh, is a location, okay? And uh, the time is 4 p.m. Okay, so let's have a look. All right, so she's gonna mention here, you can see the task read. Uh, it left, uh, well, at first I couldn't believe it because the bag had been on my back. Ever since I left the apartment after lunch, it's just a small backpack, and I generally use it when I'm traveling. When I'm traveling, because it seems safer than a handbag. Anyway, I met up a friend. Okay, be careful. Uh, we spent a couple of hours in the museum. You see, so after that, I remember that as we are leaving at about four o'clock. Ah, so you see here, uh, that's around 4 p.m., 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And they spend a couple of hours in the museum, okay? So that means after she left the museum, it means outside the museum, okay? So we're going to move, see, um, here, museum, okay? And there are some boys asked for the ask for then they ran off. So the boy coming and asked for the time. So you can say they ask us what time? What time? Okay. So you can say like the boy, so the keyword, huh? The boy crowded around us. Huh? Uh yeah. Crowd crowd around us. It's been crowded, crowding around us. They uh, make a person uncomfortable by standing too close. And they ask us for time. So can you can see time here at for time. It's a now, okay? Make sure it's 
correct. So it talk about despite being physical appearance. So we try to listen the color of the hair, or maybe it's uh, curly, or whatever. I don't know. Okay. So they're gonna say like, okay, the color of hair. So that the question that the the keyword you need to focus when the officer say color of hair so you need to be ready because the answer is coming okay all uh, right so i do remember that he was blonde okay that's that quite easy uh-huh so it's gonna be blonde okay so uh the the, the, the last one is talk about grand uh gram reference number so they're gonna talk about number okay so it's just about number so don't forget to focus uh, on that okay just focus on the number and uh, the number is like they're gonna say they have a 10 digits okay so it's gonna be eight seven nine five four eight two three six one okay so they're gonna read like that and you need to quickly write down huh a seven nine five four eight two three six one okay so that's all about ielts listening test one in cambridge book 14 section one okay so okay so before we finish uh don't forget to take out some vocabulary okay that's gonna be really useful for you to do some revision later and maybe you're gonna see this kind of vocabulary in the real test okay all right uh well before we finish um Don't forget to like and share this video uh, to get the the next part. I'm gonna make video uh, to guide you step by step to do the IELTS listening uh, test one, section two, three, and four. Okay, all right. Uh, so let's have a look at this vocabulary and uh, take note. I think it's really useful for you. The number one report a theft, huh? Report a theft. That means you give a description of a theft or information about it to the police. Okay. Resident. Resident is a person who lives or has their home in a place. Antiques. Antique is a now. Okay. It's like uh, something uh, made in an earlier period. And valued because it's old, rare, and high quality. So it's gonna have adjective, uh, adjective as well. Like and the it's on the it's talk about something old, rare, and high quality. Okay, and compartment, compartment in my backpack. Compartment is kind of uh, the thing, uh, not the thing, but it's like enclose the parts in a. Uh, into which it enclosed parts into a space or a vehicle or an object used for storing thing is divided okay like uh, your your backpack your wallet or even your wardrobe okay and big routing around somebody is like round someone and make the person feel uncomfortable by standing too close okay that's all about the lesson today and i hope you uh, like this video and see you on the next video and we're gonna make some kind of uh, video for ielts reading test as well so hope to see you soon and bye